It was a remarkable day of trade here for the opening session of book one of the Tattersall's October yearling sale with over 11 million guineas spent by Kia Jarabshin's Ammo Racing alone on a day that saw the second highest price ever realised for a yearling in European auction history at 4.4 million guineas. The session topper in question was lot 68, a Frankel filly out of Group 2 winner Al Jazi, who was knocked down to Alex Elliott and the Ammo Racing team, coming out on top of a protracted duel with Japanese trainer Mitsu Nakuchido. The same operation swooped to secure a rare duel just a few lots later, in arc-winning filly Alpinista's sister, who was sold from owner breeder Kirsten Rousing Staffordstown for 2.5 million guineas. Tell us a little bit, first of all, about this Frankel filly out of Al Jazzy, who went right the way to 4.4 million. I presume you didn't think she'd make that much? No, not at all. We didn't see that. But um, Kia and uh, Mr. Marinakis, who's partnering with Kia, were pretty determined to get her. And um, fantastic for British racing that two men want to buy a fillies and racehorses at that level to stay here. The Japanese were underbidder, but I think uh, we should all just be cheerleading these two men that they want to partner up and keep that filly on these shores. It's, it's, it's fantastic. The top lot who entered the record books as the second highest price ever reached for a yearling here at Tattersall's was a cause for celebration for her consigners, Newsels Park Stud. Yeah, I needed a bit of time to get some breath. Um, she was a beautiful filly. She had size and scope and movement and very athletic. She's got some constitution and some movement and I guess that's what everybody loved about her. And she's by Frankel. The seven-figure mark was breached again just a few lots later when the most expensive colt sold during the first session was knocked down to Anthony Stroud of Godolphin for 2.2 million guineas, in turn entering the record books for his sellers Bally Lynch Stud as their most expensive yearling sale to date. Well, we knew that very, very significant buyers all liked him, had vetted him. So we expected he would sell very well, but you never know quite what they'll reach. But I did expect that he was going to make a big price. I bought the Grand Dam here in December sales as a filly out of training. And she comes from one of the original Bally Lynch families in the McCalmont time. So I was keen to get one back that had done really well on the farm. It's been a very successful family for us. And he was probably quite typical of the family. He was an exceptional cold. I, I don't think I've ever brought a nicer cold to a sale. The fourth offering of the day to breach one million guineas was a Frankel colt who was one of the ten horses secured by Ammo Racing on the day. This colt, out of a tone, an own sister to multiple Group 1 winner midday, sold to the team for 1.1 million guineas and was consigned by Baroda Stud on behalf of Yulong Investments. Coming here I just thought like he looked like his father and he had a great temperament and a great mover and look, I just thought, I, I, in my head I thought he might be a million guinea horse and you know you're always hopeful that it'll happen and everything has to go right you have to tick all the boxes they have to be able to walk they have to pass the bet they have to have good temperament so they come up to the ring then they twitch an ear someone goes off them but everything went right for him and like i said look hopefully he's looking for kia now with 18 lots sold for 500,000 guineas or more during the opening session, anticipation is high as we head into day two here at book one of the Tattersall's October yearling sale.